This is FX Lion's huge new brick battery with 600 milliwatt hours. You're watching Synity, supported by B and H and CVP. Hello from NAB 2024. This is Synity at the FX Lion booth with Andre. How are you? Good, and you? Very good indeed. So, what do we have here? The uh, brick. Yeah, we call it the brick battery. It's always a very high power battery. It's a 600 watt hour battery and 500 watt hours in the 26 volt battery. So what's the main purpose of having such a huge capacity? Yeah, we target the, the market, especially for lighting, um, to have the high power, the long run time on your lights, uh, to be able to power higher output lights and to have a long power actually, to, to long run times that gonna make your life easier. So, I mean, it's mo mostly lighting, right? We have lots of LED lights now uh, that are battery powered. And I guess, I mean, the main problem we have is usually even with um, 100, 200 watt hour, many of those only last for like half an hour. So what, what lights do you particularly see being powered with this a lot? Yes, I see lights like the Forza 720 from uh, Nanlite. So you're going to have two batteries. You're going to go close to two hours one time. And also with uh, 26 volt, you're going to have a higher output on those lights because they run, I think, only on 50% with the 14.4 and on 75% uh, with the uh, 26 volt. And the same for the aperture lights, you're going to have a longer run time with one set of batteries. Instead of changing them all the time, it's just going to run a couple hours. Even the 300 watt power, uh, 300 watt lights with two batteries is going to run about four hours. So just out of curiosity, how long would you charge a monster battery like this? Uh, it depends on your charger. We have a six amp charger, so it's a very high power charger and it's going to take about five and a half hours. Okay, fair enough. And also, of course, I mean, I know they are mainly made for lights, but in theory, I could at least put this one on a camera, right? Exactly. So what, I'm going to have like two days of running time on an FX6, probably? Yeah, probably. You're going to have a long time. You could do nice time lapse with it. We, we should test it out. <laughs> sure, exactly. Okay. It's a good counterbalance for your shoulder rig. Well, it depends. I think, you know, like now we are in the position where probably the back is heavier than the the, ner the newer light cameras. <laughs> yeah, you just need to get a fancy anamorphic lens and it's all fine. Or, in, you know, like a Alexa, an old Alexa. Exactly. <laughs> a Mira. Okay, so what are the other features do we have on the battery? Hey, one of our main features is uh, it's IP54. So uh, with the modern lights we have, they all uh, IP proof now. So you can put it with the battery out in the rain and forget about it. And I think this is one of the, the biggest features we have because uh, the competition at, uh, in our market is waterproofed at the moment. IP, every light needs IP. You want to have it outside and don't think about it. You need a lot of um, trust in your technology because we're showing B-roll, what you show here, it's actually raining on the battery all the time. Is this running all day here on the water? Yeah, it's running the whole show. Uh, we trust our products. I mean, we have a, a rubber seal inside, so it's tested for IP54. And no doubt it's going to work in the rain. Great. What, what connectors do we have here? Uh, we have two D-taps on the battery. Uh, to run additional equipment. So you could uh, use the DTAP output or to have it on a V-mount plate. So that's the only connections we uh, put on this battery. And we made it very uh, durable. Good, good. So that's also one main focus. It's a battery, it's um, housed inside and rehoused in the uh, in two, two housings actually with the uh, rubber corners and it's very durable. We can make a drop test if you want. Sure. Uh, the battery is made to uh, fall on the ground. Okay, let's try it out. Let's do. And we're also just gonna mention another product you recently announced. Exactly, we got the new uh, series of nano batteries. So uh, a couple of years ago, we introduced the nano series and now we have uh, the next generation with additional features in it. Got it in my pocket, so it's the FX line nano battery. And we have the nano one, two, and three. So it's 50, 100, and 150 watt hours. Uh, we usually have two D-taps and USB-C in and out. 
and we have wireless charging on it. So you can chuck your phone on the front cover and it will charge wirelessly your phone. And Very nice. So when you when you have a pause shooting, you just tilt your camera down so the battery is like, <laughs> and then you put your phone on. Yeah, it could be a funny setup. My experience is more I have the, uh, the uh, camera cart where I have my batteries on and I always chuck my, ba my uh, phone on one of the batteries to charge it. Smart idea, very good. So all these connectors are very nice. You also have a runtime up there uh, on the LCD. Um, one big question for all those batteries always is like, can I attach several things at the same time? And you know, like, because all, at some point they all drop in power. Mm -hmm. How long does it last? You know, like, can I trust what it says on the display? Or at some point it will just stop? Uh, that's something we also changed in the new generation, so we are more accurate in this uh, information. So we have the whole voltage and the amps and everything, it's indicated on the display. And on the bigger ones, you have 2D tabs, so you can plug in 2D tabs, have it on the plate, and use the USB-C at the same time. That's no problem. Perfect. Thank you, Andre. Anything else to add? That's enough. Thank you. Thanks, have a good rest of the show and thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned to Synergy for lots more videos from NAB 2024 and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.